How to Add Color Swatches in Shopify Product Page Hello and welcome to our channel, WebWiz. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add color swatches in Shopify Product Page. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So the first thing that you need to do is to open your browser and kindly go to Shopify.com or you can simply click the link on the description below. And upon clicking on it, the next thing that you need to do is to log in your account in Shopify and after that, you will be directed on this page in which you will see here on the left side panel some of the options that you can navigate including home, orders, products, customers, content, analytics, marketing, discounts, online store, apps, and any other options. And in those options, kindly proceed by clicking this apps and after that, it will show you on the search bar from here some of the application that you can install by simply entering the application name on this search bar. And now to proceed, kindly enter here the application name below color swatch. And after that, just proceed by hitting enter on your keyboard and upon clicking on it, you will be directed on this page. In which below here, it will show you some of the application, but below the results, all you need to do is to click this one right here that says glow color swatch variant image. And after that, before installing it, if you scroll down below here, it will show you the details about this application. And as you can see here, using this app, you can customize your desired button, image swatch, and color swatch exclusively on product list page and product page. And aside from that, if you want to upgrade your account in this application, from here they offer a pricing list such as free, silver, and gold plan. But I'm going to choose the pre plan. And now to proceed, just click the install button right here, in which upon clicking on it, you will be directed in here, in which before installing this app, you also need to remember that this app needs to access the store information and edit store information. And aside from that, this app can access in your store, your contact info, and your location. And now that you know some of those things, you can now proceed by clicking the install app button right here, in which by clicking on it, you will be directed in this page. And from here, under the plans and pricing, just choose the free plan by clicking this button right here. And after that, the next thing that you need to do for the installation progress is by simply scroll down and click the let's start button. And after that, you will be directed at the next stage, which is the option settings. And below here, it will show you the options, including the color, the display style of your custom image. And if you want to check this display style, all you need to do is to go to online store on the left side panel and kindly click this eye icon and you will be able to view your online store. In which from here, it will show you the button and the display style of your online store. Now going back in this page, to proceed, just click the next step button right here. In which upon clicking on it, you will be directed on the next stage, which is the template settings in which these are the parts in which you can customize your swatch type from circle, square, or even fit text. And aside from that, below, you could also customize the corner radius of the square and customize the size of your swatch, in which these three variations right here is the swatch. And to customize the swatch to make it look appealing to the customer's eyes, you could do that by adjusting some of the tools or editing tools on the left side panel including the swatch type, and I'm going to choose the square type. And aside from that, you could also adjust the size of your swatch by adjusting these tools right here, from medium to large, to make it bigger and more visible to the eyes of the customer. And aside from that, you could also change or customize the spacing of your swatch by clicking these editing tools you could adjust from 10 as it's default, or to make it higher, in order for your swatch to have a bigger spacing. And aside from that, you could also customize here the thickness of the border of your swatch and customize the border style from single, double, or even none. So let's say I'm going to customize the thickness of the border from its default 3, I'm going to make it 4. And you will see some of the changes upon adjusting on the editing tools. And aside from that, you could also customize the swatch border color and also give an effect including to add glow 
or add a shadow. And as you can see upon adding glow, when you point out to the specific variation, it appeared to have a glow of violet color. And aside from that, you could also zoom the image on hover or customize the size change on hover. However, it is not applicable for swatch in carousel mode. And aside from that, below, you could also customize the alignment of your swatch to make it to the left, center, or right. And below, you can enable or disable this carousel. And aside from that, below, under the template product settings, you could also customize the same thing, including the swatch type, circle, square, or fit text. Then customize the corner radius of it, and by simply choosing or selecting any type of editing tools, the changes will automatically reflect on the right side panel. For instance, if we adjust the swatch size, as we adjust the size of swatch, you will see on the right side panel the results are also changing. And after that below, you could also customize a lot of things, which is also the same thing that we just did earlier on the top of this template product settings. Now for the next stage, just proceed by clicking this next step, and you will be directed on this general settings. In which from here, you can reorder options on product page and collection page. Aside from that, you could also customize the width and height of the image. And also below here, under the show toolpit, you could also customize or change the context of add to cart, added to cart, sold out, and any other context that you can find in your online store. Now by clicking this next step, you will be directed on this stage which is called the publish team in which from here you can integrate the team by going to your team editor or clicking this button right here and after that from here you will be directed on your store and as you can see under the app embeds right here on the left side panel you will see that the global color swatch is also turning on so that means it is now integrated or sync in our online store now going back to this page if you see the swatches widget on your online store, kind of click this button right here. But if you did not see, you can click the other button. And now for the last stage, which is to sync your online store. And from this page under the options, it says here that after one to two minutes, since you make the changes to the product data, the app will sync product data. And if you don't see the app updating the latest data, you can apply this feature to manually sync the data. And below here, you will see the option, the display style, show and collection, and the configuration. And now, to proceed syncing your online store, just click the Sync Now button right here. And as you can see here, it is now synchronizing the data of your online store so that all of the things that we just edit and customize under the global Color Swatch application will also be applied to your online store. And if it is now done syncing, the next thing that you need to do is to check your online store if the changes is also applied or all of the things that we just customized is applied to your store, including the swatches. So as you can see, it is now currently not applied to our store, but it says here that you need to wait at least two minutes since you make changes to the product data. But you can expect that all of the things that we just customized will be applied to our online store. So that is just how you can add color swatches in Shopify product page. Thank you.